Hi everyone, hi YouTube, hi Prats. Today I will show you another video about Rift of Chaos without any Dark and Light unit. Uh, this is a uh, team that I made with my uh, second account. So as you can see, I don't have that much uh, ascend on Dark and Light. But it will still be okay to farm the air or C3. The most difficult uh, boss to kill there is the fire boss. This is where you will have to have very good cheer on uh, Aruna. For the wood boss, the most important things right now is to have Flaming Mila. If you have Flaming Mila, then it should be easy to farm the wood boss. Um, I'm not even sure that you're gonna need to book to cast a mine is booked, but if you play with some debuff, you should be able to tank the second AoE, maybe not the first one. This is why you have to have to cast a. But I think if you use Matson, you should stack the debuff and maybe you should be able to tank the second AoE. So I'm not even sure that you will need to have to cast a booked. Um, something sure is that my Flaming Mila is not booked. And uh, this is same for all the other champs in this team. So maybe you should be able to farm the wood boss without any book and this is awesome um, I don't have Moricho but obviously Moricho seems very OP for the wood boss he has shield, damage reduction counter attack this is what you need for the wood boss counter attack is probably one of the best buff to increase the damage and he also has attack down, so if you have Moricho, yes, obviously you should replace Brand by Moricho. And uh, I think he... what I'm doing right now. So they released a lot of champs to farm the wood boss. And uh, I think even if you don't have that much gear, even if you are a new player, if you just um, have a good champ, then you should be able to farm the Rift of Chaos easily. And they are going to release much more OP champ. Not invest too much for this content because uh, it seems that they will anyway release the champ that will make the ROC pretty easy. As you can see, Flaming Mila starts to deal a lot of damage. As I said in uh, my other video, I really like this gem and I will probably book her when I will have the book. I think uh, even the A5 should be good on her. Increase the damage. Okay, so let's make the run faster. Okay, right now I will show you another uh, composition. Okay, so I will replace uh, Florence by Shane. I think you can also replace uh, Florence by Rajat Pixie or Heaven Matson. The most important in this team is to have the main tank. 
Uh, it could be Brand or more richer right now. We have another option. Um, you will also need to have to cast uh, with the um, the ultimate uh, with hook and uh, obviously flaming Mila. This is, uh, I think, the three most important champ or calls that you need to have in this uh, chimp for the wood boss and the two last champ can be changeable easily so it's a bit faster with chain than Florence as you can see this is very safe we are not even close to die during the run So now let's see the gear that I have. Chain around 200 focus in the resonance gear. Resonance is not, um, I mean, you can, you can play without resonance, but it helps to be faster. As you can see, she has no books. This relic is pretty good. The relics are good. It helps a lot, obviously. Maybe you could not kill the boss if uh, you don't have her books and uh, also don't have good relics. Don't need to have book on brains too. Just. Uh, as much HP as possible and resistance and nothing particular for for Matson I don't have an A1 him is just there to uh, put the debuff so if you can play him in resonance it's also good he's not doing that much damage anyway And as I told you, the most important is to have the ultimate book. It could be fast, and in my case, it was not that fast. If you're lucky, it can cost you only 5 books. But we all know that when it's about to cast out, we need to use around 10 books. This is the chip that I'm using so I replaced uh, Madsen by Gavin because my Gavin is full booked it's a bit faster but as you can see it doesn't matter that much it's not it's not that different than other chip so the um, there for the water boss, as you can see, I don't have um, Ganglor A2, but uh, as you will see, it's still okay to kill the boss. Not uh, that different than if he was A2. I think the most complicated for the water boss is to tank the first AOE. So if you have some issue to tank the first AOE, you should play the the champ with guard set. It helps to tank the first turn. In my team, Ganglor has the most HP, so he is taking the heat from the boss. You maybe should respect the speed tune, I'm not even sure that it matters. Okay, and there is probably the most difficult part. 
Okay, uh, there I made a mistake. I forgot to change the gear on Batmare, so you will see that it's not gonna work. And I will explain you why. You want Batmare to play before Atara. So the speed should deadly first, then Batmare, Atara, and the last uh, to play should be Aruna. If you don't respect this speed jump, as you can see, the boss lost the, the debuff. You want to put the defense down to um, E4 to use the, the skill to of Hatara and then you will extend the debuff of the break the entrance and it will optimize your damage obviously. Uh, you may have some problem to make uh, Zetlin uh, enough tanky. This is why I leveled, leveled him to 70. So now let's see if we respect the turn order. The most complicated with this team is that you have to have a very good gear on Atara, uh, Aruna. He will be the K of the, the run. I'm not sure if Bachi could uh, boss in this team. Because Bachi is doing one more hit than Hatara, um, than Haruna, and in this team they all are um, using the resonance gear, but not Batman. You can use only two champs with resonance gear. So we started round 18 and we are now at the round 25. So before the Berserk mod, we still have seven rounds. So as you can see, we are okay with the damage. Maybe we have a good resonance proc but even if you don't have good RNG it should work okay let's see now the damage so as you can see, Flaming Mila is doing more damage than Gavin food books. This is insane. There, okay. And there, everything is about Aruna. So you don't need to try to optimize the damage from Atara or Badmar because anyway, they will never do enough damage to got the extra damage that you need to finish the boss. So now let's see the stats of uh, my fire team. This is the stat for Badma. Mine is uh, close to be full book, I think. I'm not sure. Yes, uh, it's close to be full book. I didn't use the two last book in the ability. You should need it in my team. I s not notice that I don't 
need this one, but I just wanted to have the, the second skill ability upgrade. I have Atara to book. Uh, Atara is usable in many places in the game right now. You can use her for the witch, for uh, Gemini, for RTA, Classic Arena, GVG. Uh, I think the only one place that I'm not using her right now is in GVE, but she, she is a season hero champ and uh, we know that this, the season champ are most of the time more useful than the other RGB so you should invest on the Hatara because she's worth the investment Jutlin should be around 27k HP 2k defense if you want him to survive uh, mine is not book, obviously. And now let's see the most complicated champs to gear. This is Aruna. You will have to put her your best gear. About the relics, you want to have as much crit damage as possible. That scaling with the target lost heals. If possible, you should use Elemental set paired with the Wrath set and as much crit damage as possible because when you are using a nuker with Savannah and when Savannah will die your main nuker will have a lot of attacks so scaling with crit damage will be much better is why you have to play boss relics with crit damage and rings with crit damage. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed to see this team without any dark and light unit. Even if it's not that easy to do, it's still the air OC3, the most difficult content in the game right now. If we can farm it without dark and light, I think this is not a bad thing. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.